Hello everyone and welcome to another update video on Tactical Fun. This is the Primary Arms Gen 3 ACSS 1-6, to the Silver Series they're calling it I guess. And this is from the previous video, the Tango MSR 1-6. to As you can see the Tango 6 is just about 3 quarters of an inch slightly longer. And the adjustment area a little wider but not by much. So let's go through the differences here. So the primary arms, as I just mentioned, is slightly smaller for whatever give or take that gives you. I don't have any need to question the size of the scope, so let's move on from that. So with the Tango, came with the mount, which is a very nice mount, came with the throw lever, has the fiber optic thing. So primary arms I had to buy this mount separate this is the primary arms mount so if I would have bought this not for a review I would have bought a nicer mount but I bought this it was $60 and it was worth about $9 this every one of the screws is rusted had a big ding in the the top of the cap here and overall it's very low quality so I do not recommend that at all so if we look here this is the turret cap from the primary arms it's about three times the size of the SIG one, so take that way you will. If you want more compact, go with the SIG. So, if you can hear, that's the audible clicks from the primary arms. It's pretty audible. I haven't zeroed either one of these yet, so don't get sad. But, the click and the resistance on the SIG is better. This also goes for, oh, this throw lever I had to buy separate also. So this throw lever was another $25. Overall, I'm over $400 on this package, and I'm at $211 on this package. So this is the throw here. Very loose, no resistance. So this SIG, pretty tight. I'm sure it'll loosen up like a Vortex or something. But, so this is a, anybody... As this is a primary arms mod 2m 11.85 that's probably the nicest rifle they make and then we have the geisley od green and catfer apparently so keeping with the reticles the primary arms has the acss and the sig has the bdc the one from the military scope that we showed in the last video so this reticle is very nice with the chevron it is more cluttered this one is also very nice with the dot so that's pretty much uh, user preference. I'm still preferring the SIG, less clutter. This one gives you information in it if you are new to shooting or if you need the, more, the information for a longer range shot without being able to calculate it yourself. This is very nice. But well, overall, I'm giving the SIG a win right now for overall value. The glass is still nicer on the SIG. The glass isn't bad on the primary arms. But for $289 and uh, the price difference, so we're at, so let's call it $400 and $211 I'm at. So this is not almost twice as much as nice as that. This is less nice than this for the money. So next we'll be taking it out to 500 yards for both of them. And we're going to do the, use the BDCs. We're going to zero it at the 100 yards and work our way out and see how it is. So if you want to see that video, hit like and subscribe and let me know. This cat fur is still hanging out here, so it seems to be a common theme in my videos. And to the guy that keeps talking about how he doesn't like my voice, you can literally just stop watching my videos. Thanks.